All right, let's get back over to Peyton and talk more about Nicholas. Of course, more rain headed our way. Yeah, and I want to talk about the last year, last year and this year in the tropics. I was thinking, I was like, this has just been overwhelming with all the tropical systems we've been tracking. This is a look at all 30 plus storms we've tracked over the past uh, two years or so since the 2020 hurricane season. Look how active the Gulf of Mexico is and has been. And then I got to thinking, how many of these storms have made landfall in the US? 19 since 2020 have made landfall in the US. To put this in perspective, this is not normal, by the way. We average about three landfalls a year. We had 11 last year. We've already had eight this year. And I want you to look at the Gulf of Mexico. Nearly every single part of the Gulf of Mexico has seen a landfalling system. And pretty much everyone along the Gulf has experienced at least some impacts. And then Louisiana, oh my gosh. I mean, we've had, uh, we had Laura, Cat 4. We had Delta, Cat 2 at landfall. It was a major hurricane before landfall. Ida, just recently a Cat 4. Remember Zeta, it was a Cat 3. We had Cristobal, we had Claudette. Uh, we had Marco get close to us, but it didn't quite get to us. We had Sally right on our doorstep. I mean, it's just been a relentless 2020 and 2021 hurricane season. And of course, we're not done yet. We're still in the peak of the hurricane season. So far, we've had six hurricanes, 14 named storms. Two of those have been major hurricanes. And as I said, eight of those have made landfall in the United States. So it has just been an unbelievable. I know everyone is so sick of it. But we got our next system moving in today, so be very careful. Flooding is our main concern with this one from rainfall, not storm surge flooding, but rainfall flooding. So that'll be today, tonight and tomorrow. A little bit of improvement towards the end of the work week, but overall we're still dealing with some rain in the area.